-hmm. like the the things that we're doing you know is is you know that will come out in the year it's all like we always have so many in-depth projects going on it's it's amazing okay. so back to that i really think that oral care is probably a really good thing to okay. and i and we make beautiful dental serums and toothpaste and swishing oils and i wrote a book called holistic dental care oh. and we have a lot of dentists that like love and adore our products and see all the improvement but one thing that everybody can do right now that would really change the health of their mouth is to ditch the commercial toothpaste they're using, which are filled with um, different ingredients like ingredients like sodium lauryl sulfate, which will mm -hmm. cause bleeding and receding gums, which okay. is a huge issue. And if you just switch to using baking soda, which is, you know, you can just get baking anywhere. Soda. Just, just baking, baking soda. soda. Yep huge improvement in your oral care health wow yeah what about now so do you and i'm looking at this from <laughs> how do i get my nine-year-old to use this um okay a great just way dunking? yeah well, give yeah. me a well, yeah i mean again you just a little dash on the the tooth dash and of course you can add a drop of peppermint or blah 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 but i'm just trying to say the easiest thing and literally that simple and that one ingredient if you use that for the rest of your life you don't even need to buy anything from me your whole oral homeostasis will be like far healthier little oasis in your mouth. So, um, and a fun thing for kids is this was a method invented by Dr. Paul Keyes. He was like a periodontist that did, wanted to help prevent people having the gum surgeries, which is so common for the receding gums. And what you do is you coat your mouth in the baking soda, like kind of give it a once brush, spit that out and then coat it again. And then you take half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and you put that in your mouth and then you become like a you know grade three science experiment it's all foaming because wow. when you put them together and then that really helps to lift off plaque off the mouth and like really gets the teeth clean which is great because kids aren't perfect teeth brushers there's a lot of areas that they miss uh yes very, now somebody very. might say wait <laughs> uh, uh, vinegar is acidic it is However, baking soda is so alkaline that the sum total of the two parts is still alkaline. Yeah. Now, my assumption is this is not, if I go Google this, most likely, like this is not talked about mainstream, that you're going to be told, hey, you got to buy this specific toothpaste. Because oh, yeah. And I mean, yeah. there's things where dentists are like, no, baking soda is too abrasive, or they thought or whatever. But no, when you look at the science and the abrasivity rating that dentists use, it's um it there's a and there's also the there's the abrasivity rating and the M O R S rating. Anyway, I, a baking soda is like a, around a seven, and a very gentle, you know, sensitive toothpaste or whatever is like at seventy. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and it probably baking soda. So it's very safe. It's not abrasive. And um, but if you did, I mean, I don't know what you know. It's when you look up something on the internet anymore. Who's to know what, what? is mainstream or not? But right. if you did look up Paul Keys. Dr. Paul Keys okay. and like baking soda vinegar thing, you would probably find out more about the history of it. And but it's this Keys, is like K-E-Y-E-S. -E -E okay. 